Okay, so I want to talk to you about a um, 04 Chevy Envoy. It has a 4L60E transmission in it. We built this transmission about two years ago for a customer. Uh, they returned it to us here just recently, <coughs> saying that when it got hot, it wouldn't move. Uh, we, the fluid was like a very kind of tannish color. Uh, don't normally see that. <coughs> uh, but uh, I think what, happened, what was happening is the filter was getting stopped up and the vehicle wouldn't move. So we went through the transmission and we really couldn't find much wrong with it. Clutches of bands still look good. <coughs> so we uh, had, when we did the job originally, we had bought a tor or remanufactured torque converter. Um, <coughs> we usually build these in-house, but this converter on this particular vehicle is not buildable. So we went ahead and bought one. <coughs> so being that we couldn't find anything wrong with the transmission, we went ahead and cut the torque converter apart. Take a look at it which I've already done here. And let me show you what we're finding on this thing. All right, so we got the converter cut apart already and already cleaned up. And the inside of the converter looked pretty good. <coughs> Bearings look good. Nothing looked like it had come apart in it. Um, so we got down to the clutch right here. And when we got down to the torque converter clutch, this is the way it came apart. There was actually no clutch in there. And I'm taking, I'm thinking that what probably happened here is that the uh, facility that remanufactured the torque converter most likely bonded a new clutch to the piston here. But it looks like when they bonded it, you have to cut the ridges pretty deep in here so the clutch will stick to it. And this is pretty slick right here. So probably what happened is the clutch that was bonded slipped off of the uh, off of the piston and got deteriorated and mixed in with the fluid. And that's probably why the fluid is looking so brown and why it stopped up the filter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this now and rebond it. We're going to cut some ridges in it, kind of like a record or an album that you would listen to music to back in the day. <laughs> um, and we're going to stick a new clutch lining on it. And we do that by baking it in the uh, bonding oven. And when we get done with it, it'll look like this and see if it'll, if it'll run. Okay, we've got it tooled up in the uh, lathe right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run a surface across here and get some ridges in, the, in this thing and see what it does. Okay, I've got some pretty good ridges cutting this thing now. You can run your little pocket screwdriver across it. And you can feel them. They're pretty good. So hopefully this will be enough for the uh, new clutch to stick on there and hold. That's a better look at it right there. Like a record album from back in the day. That's the way we used to listen to music. Okay, now as I'm preparing to stick the uh, uh, clutch in the uh, bonding oven, I'll acetone both surfaces. I'll acetone the clutch surface that I cut the ridges in, get it nice and clean. And then I'll put a little acetone on the actual clutch adhesive itself. And when you do that, it kind of activ activates the adhesive to start sticking to the, um, to the piston. Just put a little dab around there like so. Make sure you get it all. And stick it on the clutch. And when you stick it on the clutch, you just kind of got to eyeball it on there, get it nice and straight. Okay. You can see that adhesive starting to activate already as you um, install the acetone on it. And you stick it on the clutch surface now. Make sure it's good and clean. There's a little bit of dirt still right there when you get off. Okay. And just kind of line it up as best you can there. That's what I do, anyway. Okay, 
Okay, now it's ready to go into the, uh, the bonding oven, which, which is heating up right now. Alright, now we can ahead and install in the uh, bonding oven and let it bake for 15 minutes. Set our timer for 15 minutes and let her cook. Okay, so this is what it look, looks like, uh, the final product here. It comes out of the bonding oven. You see a nice new clutch lining is bonded on there. Nice ridges cut into the piston. Hopefully this clutch will stick. Make sure springs and all are good. We just let it cool down naturally. I don't blow any air on it. So let it sit there cool. I'm going to install it into the uh, converter here and weld it up and um, set it on its way. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a blessed day.